another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys of Sidetrack. I'm Donuts. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, and we're dealing with dealing from the top of the decker. Yeah. Wow. Bottom of the deck. Bottom yeah. of the decker. Yeah, dude. Upper decker. That's where you poop in the toilet. <laughs> in the wrong spot. Dude. Deck the halls. We have a... Okay. So we've went through numerous days, right? But like, yeah. how come our days are seeing the same patients over and over again? It's not how it works. You don't see the same patient f- every day. Uh, I mean, maybe it's the next day in the week, Jonas. I don't know. It's a... Uh, well, it's the prog- Professor Decker Xavier make you a doctor... The real question is, is Hilda, I mean, is Hilda, is Elon a freaking cold-blooded killer? I think so. All right. How do you feel cold sad? Cold-blooded, because she had to give back her trinkets. Yeah, she had to give back her little trinkets and knickknacks that she stole. Who'd she give that to, Dr. Dr.? I know it's silly, but those things meant a lot to me. They were reminders that I'd helped those people. Helped them die? I mean, they were going to die regardless. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, let's ask about Hilda, because I know that's important to her. We want to discuss things that are important to her. Hilda's looking real cute today. Hilda's nearing the end. She's been sleeping a lot, not eating much. She hasn't been that argumentative either. Although, she did give me a vicious scratch yesterday. (laughs) Wow, she just attacked you like a cat claw. (laughs) Why'd she scratch you, girl? It was nothing. I was just trying to give her meds. It's hard, you know? I'm trying to help her, but she keeps fighting me. You know, sit on her chest and hold her It'll be better open. after she's seen her daughter. I've decided I'm going to do it tonight. She hasn't got much time left. Oh, she's going to shapeshift tonight? Yeah, that's what she said that she does. She shapeshifts... Uh, to bring loved ones that are inaccessible into these people's lives into their last days so that they can feel some solace or some closure in some level. Nice. I think, I mean, I feel like it's a altruistic thing to do. I mean, we, but on the same note, she might be turning into these people and then like taking the items as gifts. Oh, uh, while wow, she's, she's yeah. like, Grandma, give me a watch. Yeah, but I mean, that doesn't make her a killer, though. All right. Uh, do what tonight? What is it coming? Just fine. Let's go. You know the answer to that, Doctor. What have we been talking about? What can I do for Hilda that will make it all better? You're going to end it for her? Is Elin going to pretend to be Hilda's daughter? No. Let's find out. Are you going to kill Hilda? Yeah. There we go. Are you you going to pretend to be Hilda's daughter tonight? That's the plan. I know. It sounds unbelievable, like I'm making it up. I wish I could prove it to you somehow. A shapeshift for us. Um, We could try shifting now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Think of someone you really love. It might help if you close your eyes. Are you thinking of them? Can you picture them? Okay. Sarah J. Hold on. It's going to open up. It's going to be Mariana. Sarah J. Sorry, I don't think it's going to work. On the bright side, that probably means you're not going to die anytime soon. What? Okay, so now that's a little bit of something that she's telling us. If she's alluding to the fact that she can only shapeshift for people who are in their final days. But I thought she said before she could. I mean, I saw her face tingle up a little bit. I got a little freaked out, not going to lie. I had some paranormal activity type fears pop up in my body. Is it going to rip you off the couch and pull you out the door? <laughs> uh, what do you say when you shift? Yeah, let's see that. Here's Johnny. It's tricky. I mean, I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but I try and keep it vague because I don't become her. I don't know what she would really say. I say things like, it's okay, don't be scared, I love you mum, or I love you dad. But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like, because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version. The best, most loving version. That's That's what my patients want to hear. 
That's facts. And maybe deep down, they know it's not the truth, but it's got to be better than the reality. Hmm. I mean, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. It's a little misleading. Um, I, I, I could see it leading her down a, a path, but you know, it's morally corrupt, but she ain't, oh, a, yeah. she ain't a killer. Why bother shifting if she parents know jewelry. it's not the truth? She just wants that trinket, dude. She wants that <laughs> that that ruby. Give me that freaking ring, you old bat. I'm gonna start wearing rubies all the time. Does it really matter it. if it isn't the truth? Isn't it worth it if it brings them peace? Tell me honestly, Doctor. Do you really think that what I'm doing is wrong? Yes, sir. Ma'am. What do you think, Jones? Do you think what she's doing is wrong? Yeah. She's rusing dead people to get their wares. We, I mean, we don't know about her motives. It's hard to place a uh, motive on it, but she is definitely rusing old people. Do people that are dying in places like that give away their belongings to people who are taking care of them? Is that normal? Yeah, yeah it happens, but it is also, like I said, immoral and it's looked down upon and it can get you... Uh, as far as the company, they will reprimand or... You They're know. like, oh, look, she wrote me a check for $750,000. Yeah, exactly. You can't, you can't do stuff like that. <laughs> it's morally really wrong. She me to have it. It's morally wrong. It's corporately wrong. But, like, if you are taking care of That's a person... That's an oxymoron. Corporately wrong? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> So you, what do you say? You say we should say um, shifting is wrong. Shifting is not let's, wrong. Let's make her. Let's not ruin her day. She's already happy. Let's tell her it's not wrong. Okay. Good, because I really feel this is something I have to do. I figured. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't want to steal from old dying people? Yeah, it's like if you were on your deathbed and somebody has been helping you out for like years, the last couple of years of your life, and you're like, "Hey, look, dude, I really want you to have my." Uh, my signed jersey of uh, Muggsy Bogues. Right. That person should get it. Yeah. But the court comes in. Well, yeah, but what if, like, my son is a huge Muggsy Bogues fan? Exactly. And he's like, no, my dad always said I could have that Muggsy Bogues shirt. Like, yeah, brother, right. I've been here for the last... You've been in Australia. Yeah, I've been you, here with your dad. You've been using his money to tour the Sudan, and <laughs> here I am <laughs> taking care of him and wiping his butt, and you get to wear the Muggsy Bogues jersey on? Huh? <laughs> It's been hanging on the wall in the home the whole time. <laughs> All right. How is Terry? Terry seems to have backed down since I gave the keepsakes. Back. Good. She knew you were a thief. Actually, it doesn't seem like she's been very well. Oh, you're going to shift Not for her? Not her usual self. Maybe she's got a bug or something. Oh, ticks. Okay. Very, very ominous the way she said that. Yeah, dude, Very she's ominous. killing people. Very ominous. All right, do you know about the paper spike? It's true, then. I'd heard Dr. Decker was stabbed, but I didn't know for sure. It's weird. That whoever did it would choose the paper spike. Why is that weird, Ellen? Dr. Decker used to play with it in our sessions sometimes. A paper spike? You know, pick it up, handle it while we talked. I remember once... He pushed the spike through his skin. Yet this bit, here, between his thumb and his finger. He said he didn't think I'd mind the sight of blood being a nurse and all that, but actually, there wasn't any. I mean, that's kind of sociopathic, right? Like, yeah. like hey, uh, watch this. You won't mind, right? Because you're a nurse? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, nurse. You won't mind blood, right? <laughs> um, and, and, and there was no blood. Dr. Decker is not on trial here. All right. Yeah, we don't even know what he looks like. Maybe he looks like uh, Wesley Snipes. <laughs> so why do you think there wasn't any blood on the spike? I was a bit freaked out. At first, I thought it was a trick. A magic trick, you know? Like some kind of therapeutic test. Yeah, that makes sense. Show the patient this retractable spike and see how they react. Wah -huh. It wasn't. The spike was real. Ooh. So real. How do you know the spike was real? Dr. Decker gave me the paper spike to try. It wasn't fake. It was pretty sharp, actually. I don't know how he did it. He said he just thought that it wouldn't hurt him, so it didn't. 
That's like the guy who just wants to shoot the quantum theory guy. Yeah, a little bit. He said that they had like a diversity or not. Why did you say opposing issues? I'm not going to die soon. Why did you not want me to know about Sarah Decker? Oh, we're going way back. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I did kind of want to get onto the why she just said that she didn't want to All die right. soon. We're, we're, we able, got... we're able to go the next day, but let's finish her out, I guess. All right. So why'd you say you weren't going to die soon? I wasn't going to die. As far as I know, it only works on people who are close to death. That's oh, the whole she it. turned into Terry's daughter. I have to hold their hand, and they have to think of the person. Well, you weren't holding my and hand. And they have to be near death. And those seem to be the three criteria. Well, hold my hand, girl. Why didn't you want me to know about Sarah Decker? This is important. It just makes things complicated, doesn't it? I knew Dr. Decker's mother before I started seeing Dr. Decker. She's dead, and now he's dead. I'm sure you're going to have a field day with it. What? Yes. I mean, did you know Sarah Decker was Dr. Decker's mother? Yeah, it would help if they were if we knew like the time frame for, for when yeah. she was seeing the doctor versus when her mother died, when yeah. his mother died. Yeah, that's the reason I came to see him. I knew she was dying. Oh. But he refused to talk to me unless I booked a session, so I did. And well, sounds like a real peach. She's like, here, I'm here to talk to you about your mother. I'm not going to talk to you unless you pay me. <laughs> hmm. So she was alive while she was still seeing him. Why did Dr. Decker refuse to talk to you about his mum? I told Dr. Decker that his mum was dying, that he should see her before it's too late. He told me to mind my but own effing business. He wasn't interested. So he sent Jaya. It wasn't like he hated her. It was just like it wasn't important. He asked me to take care of it for him. He did send his assistant along to see her once. Sorry, your assistant. Okay, this is true. Yeah. You remember that. What did Dr. Uh, we Dr. will find out what he meant by take care of it. Oh, yeah, really. On the next one. He meant kill her because he knew she's a murderer. <laughs> That's all time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, you know there's no notification bell. Just notify us that you notify us when you notify us. Put it in the comments and we'll notify you for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.